Elbow Arthrodesis 3.5 DCP The landmarks for the incision are the distal diaphysis of the humerus, the lateral epicondyle, the olecranon, and the head of the radius. The angle for the elbow arthrodesis is predetermined by observing the normal standing angle of the elbow in the individual patient. Commonly, the angle is 110 degrees. The foam is incised on the caudolateral aspect of the elbow to expose the distal third of the humerus and the proximal third of the ulna. The olecranon is osteotomized to aid joint exposure and provide a flat surface for the plate. In a clinical case, the articular cartilage of the humerocondyle, radial head, and trochlear notch is thoroughly removed with a bone curette or high-speed burr. The distal humerocondyle and trochlear notch are temporarily stabilized with the elbow in the predetermined angle using Kirschner wires. Additional contouring of the proximal ulna may be needed to provide an appropriate surface for the plate. The bending template is used to determine the contour of the caudal surfaces of the distal humerus and proximal ulna. A 12-hole 3.5 DCP is contoured to match the template. The plate is secured by first placing 3.5 mm screws in the most proximal and distal plate holes. The K-wire is now removed if necessary. A 3.5 mm lag screw is placed through the plate and across the lateral portion of the humeral condyle into the radio head. A second 3.5 mm lag screw is placed through the plate, across the ulna, and into the medial portion of the humeral condyle. The remaining plate holes are filled. Some of the screws may penetrate the radius. The olecranon is reattached adjacent to the ulna with a 3.5 mm lag screw. In a clinical case, cancellous bone is collected from the proximal humerus. The graft is placed around the plate and arthrodesis site. The angles of the arthrodesis are evaluated critically and the orientation of the limb is inspected for varus or valgus deformity.